this is the attempt at the uh, video recording. There you go, I'll get it centered in my eye there. Uh, it's the house as you would see it um, on foot and in entering the house and taking a tour through the house. So this is the front of the house. We'll scan over here, there's the, the garage, uh, the, the down or the lower floor and upper floor. Um, and behind the van there, you can see what would be the bathroom area. So that's kind of complete. This is the, the angles that you would see walking up to the house. And one thing to point out about the garage is because the, the north facing wall is tilted forward, we had to build a vertical surface for the garage door to sit against, which will give it this great detail set in from the wall of the garage that will help um, define more character out in the front. And this is a view of the inside of the garage over to the mechanical area and the recycling area. So now we're moving towards the entrance and this will be a full glass door on this wall. And so as we come in here in the entryway, um, this area right here will be the staircase that goes up to the top floor. As you can see, there's a window there for great lighting. In the ambiance of the tilted wall, really gives you a different experience that I've ever had entering. And so as we walk towards the interior of the house, this room right here will be a water closet or a half bath. And then the area behind that where you see the different color pipes will be the mechanical room or mechanical closet where the water heater will be housed, the ERV ventilation system, and the manifolds for the radiant floor heat will be there. So now we're walking through the first door. This will be the kitchen area. One thing indicative to the curved walls or the tilted walls is that we had to build these soffit areas or vertical columns that we can mount wallboard on and that will allow us uh, to mount our, our cupboards and have a back face for the, uh, for the refrigerator. Here's one thing about the design of the house that was very important. As you can see uh, to this side is uh, what will be the dining room. And so there's a great sliding glass door there that leads out onto the balcony. And as we enter, the biggest thing that we're, we can see right here is the huge redwood tree that is outside the, the, the living room. So with these huge picture windows right here, you get a great view and it's nothing but nature at this point. This is the focal point of this house, why it was designed uh, to design or to exist, coexist with nature in this huge, very beautiful 200 year old coastal wed redwood tree. So, as you can see here, anywhere in this room that I'm standing, I have a great view of the nature, and it's uh, like I said, it's, it's what will allow this house to coexist with the beautiful nature that this lot provides. There's another great picture window that looks out into the backyard, and as I come closer and just take in the view outside the window, I really get a panoramic view of the entire lot from right here. It's almost as if the house didn't exist, uh, but of course it does. Uh, this is a plan table that we just put out there so we could uh, use it uh, for manipulating the plant. And so as I'm standing here in the living room, I'm looking out the sliding glass door and you can see where the patio will be there. And at the end of the patio, or as I come down the patio, um, you'll notice this large tank that is constructed to reclaim the storm water and off of the lot and the gray water that comes out of the house. So as you see that board across there, the deck will extend five feet past. And if we look at this tree right in front of the deck, that's, you'll see how the house was kind of designed, this pocket kind of invites you back into the nature. So as you are in the house, you can come out on the deck and come right into the trees and you're actually just very involved with nature right here. So here's another large door, the opening. This is a sliding glass door that leads into the dining room, which you can see right here. And then off the balcony again, there's another large sliding glass door that goes into the master bedroom. 
So I will come back through the door into the living room area. And then now into the dining room area, as you notice this door leads into a hallway. And through this hallway, I can access the mechanical closet, which is right here, or come straight through. And this area will have a closet that will be on the back side of the stairs. And once again, just kind of notice the majestic feeling that you get from these large open vaulted ceilings. Along this wall will be a metal stud wall that will actually be the uh, wall for the bathroom. And in this area right here over that header, will be an extruding circular glass wall that is actually the shower for the upstairs bathroom, which we're looking at right there. And there's the doorway leading in. We'll explain more about that later. So this would be the walk-in closet. Right here, we have accessories uh, for the washer and dryer, which will be a stackable unit. And then the rest of this closet area is used for, uh, of course, clothes storage and stuff like this. You can see a structural header that's above right here. The rest of this wall will be filled in with a stud frame and regular wall board. You can see the pipes there to accommodate um, the, where the toilet will be. We'll see the two pipes sticking out of the ground. And these two pipes right here will accommodate a hammered brass copper or a hammered brass or excuse me, hammered copper bathtub that will stand alone. So as we walk back out of this door back into the hallway, we see here is a doorway that will be an outswing glass door that will lead into the garden area, which you see uh, leftover remnant pieces of the foam panels that will be recycled and reused. This area right here will be the vanity for the bathroom. As you can see, the, the rough-in plumbing is there and electrical is already there. And then this is a full length, as it would mimic a door, but it is just simply a window. And it's just put there so where I'm standing right now would simulate being in the bathtub. So if I'm sitting in the bathtub, this is my view outside of this great window. And as you can see, it's built in a pocket style from the outside exterior wall. And that, that pocket is designed to give the owner privacy, but yet a great view. And then so here in this corner is the shower area, which will have an overhead rain style uh, spigot for the shower. Of course, there would be the water valve. And then so as I look this way, this is where the toilet would be located. And of course, there is a window just right above the toilet. And then we would have a small pony wall right here. And then, of course, the bathtub would sit right here in between that wall and this wall. And as you can see, this wall is a structural member for up above. Okay, so now as I walk back out of this um, hallway and I enter the master bedroom, okay, so right here on this wall, there will actually be an infinity view fireplace. And once again, if I'm standing here at the doorway, I look out this huge sliding glass door and I am just enveloped with the view of the nature here. And then my view outside of this tree is of course just, or outside of this window is of course just a great view of the tree. And once again, I'm very involved with the nature of the lot and it is just a beautiful, um, beautiful view. This is closer to the window, looking outside the window. Uh, it, everything that I can see here, once again, this is a great view of the tank from the top. And as you can tell, I can see my neighbors quite well. The owner will be able to see the neighbors quite well, but yet at the same time with all the foliage, he'll be very protected from them kind of isolated. This is the view that you would see back at the house. Of course, there is the large redwood tree that is estimated to be over 200 years old. And then you can see the corner of the house here and how it exists there with the big picture window in the wall and the sliding glass door that's there. So that is the downstairs quite well. We come back out the door 
into the hallway. We're using this ladder for a makeshift staircase. So I'm just going to crawl up my makeshift staircase. And I would be in the area which will be the mechanical closet that continues to upstairs. As you can see here, the radiant flooring tubes are in uh, the floor. So as I come through the hallway here, um, there would be a wall that is right down this line right here that would create a hallway that would isolate the two bedrooms. So this would be one bedroom here, and that is the window in that bedroom. So let's walk into this bedroom. Here's my view out the window here. And then there's another window, as you can see right here, which gives me a view out into the upper balcony, which also has a great view of what the nature is like. And so I would come back out of the door right here, come down this walkway, then the door leading into the bathroom is of course right here. And so in this bathroom, there would be a wall that comes straight up right here that would separate it from the hallway. We have a nice window that lets in a lot of natural light here. And where you see the, the uh, pipe sticking out of the floor right there would be the center of a four foot round diameter glass wall shower that would be in this uh, room. And then we have the toilet that would be right here on this wall and the vanity would be right here on this wall. Uh, unfortunately, you have to use a little imagination to see that. But then I would come out here and then come through this doorway that would exist right here. As you can see, uh, another aspect of dealing with the, the tilted wall is, is that we had to make kind of a tilted column there that would accommodate the, the perpendicular wall into the canted wall in this bedroom these would be my two windows and as you can see here the natural light in these rooms is just spectacular and this would be the view out of this this window here and then on this side this is the view that you would have standing back in the room and then if i come forward here i look out into this wonderful tree that is just right at my fingertips. That gives me that feeling once again of how well I'm existing with nature. And then here you can see the edge of the detail wall and the wing on the roof that, that gives it kind of its distinctive style, which, um, which makes it what this house is. And so now I'm coming back out into this hallway, okay? So as I come down the hallway, this is the upper balcony. And this is my view on the upper balcony. So as you can see, there's a great view of the park and the rest of the lot as it sits. Just great view. You can see the big tree here, the big redwood tree just right in front of us. It just gives us some, some amazing views. And then this is a look back at the house on the side. And as you can also see the roof section uh, for the, the other part of the house, which would be right above the, the living room and back into the bedrooms. And if I walk over onto this side, this is the view that I get from this side. As you can see the rough section, the edge of the bedroom wall. If you notice on the windows here, this is a window bucket we specially designed out of steel studs that will help accept the window. And if you look at the mesh on the top of the roof, that is a parapet that uh, controls the water that will be on the roof and directs it straight into it. Now, once again, like I said about the, the it coexisting with nature, the tree is just right here. So you're just, as you come out onto this balcony, you are just right here. I can just imagine sitting in a, a chair and, uh, and just uh, reading a book and looking at these spectacular trees and just being able to reach out. I, 
I feel like I'm actually in a tree house living in the tree right here. And so that is the, the tour. And this is the house and how it will exist and the areas that you'll see inside the house. This would be at the top of the balcony, right here in the staircase. And as you can see, the nice open expanses that will be the top of the staircase here. Here we can kind of see this illustrates uh, what the plumbing and electrical requirements are for this type of building design. And you can see the supply and return lines and the return plumbing lines as they come in and then they join into existing lines that are already in the floor uh, that were, were placed before this, the floor was poured. And that gives us um the uh the ability to use the utilities as they should be done for a house here we'll take a a walk down to the bottom to look at what this house looks like from uh the lower part of the lot and as you can see right here here's the tank and the majestic of the house and how it sits on the lot and how it coexists with the nature. This is a wonderful, huge tree. And there's, we can kind of see like a panoramic view of the house and see how it sits and coexists with this nice, huge redwood tree. It's just fantastic. Notice the wing on the side that gives it the, the more of a futuristic style. So we walk through the lot here. And there's a good view of the side of the house, the back of the garage, the wing up above and how the tree is just kind of nestled in to exist with the house there. It's very nice, it's very nice. <laughs> 